going to look today at another piece of assessing the risk of hand hygiene. When you think of the surfaces that are around an average kitchen or restaurant, think of the areas of the service, think of the actual kitchen uh, surfaces themselves, the restrooms for instance, all these surfaces are the places that we're touching that are contaminating the hands. So are we better to have our intervention on keeping that surface clean? Are we better to wash our hands more often? How do we find that balance? Well today we're going to look specifically at the touch side of that equation in the area that we call touch ready. How do we get our hands, how do we get those surfaces touch ready at all times? When we look at this uh, graph, on this axis is the hand transfer uh, probability. On this is the risk itself. So imagine a surface, uh, let's say, you know, something in the restroom, uh, some handles in the restroom, pretty, pretty dangerous things, high, high surface potential of that risk. Now what is the likelihood of transfer? Well, let's see, if it's on a handle, it's probably pretty high, so that might go out here where the high risk and a high transfer possibility. Now you might have another case where, uh, let's say the uh, behind the door is a place that's uh, not getting washed very often, um, not really a, a risky surface, not likely to have any trans transfer, that might be way down here. Now in reality, a good many things start falling in this area where the, the risk is high and the transfer uh, probability is fairly high. So you start coming up with a scale on individual surfaces. So it's a very good exercise to encourage with your team, again that team of operations, quality assurance, finance, training, uh, have people look at this from a touch point of view and if we can keep those surfaces cleaner, set some standards of cleanliness, use ATP, use marks, there's a couple of systems on their website to help you control, use better products, use better paper for instance. So many times we find people trying to save money on paper and you end up uh, using reusable rags, you end up with surfaces that uh, are just more loaded with germs than necessary. So good products, reliable systems and tackle these areas here that are going to contaminate the hands. Touch ready surfaces. Thank you.